Kansas Attorney General Chris Kobach decided to come out in favor of lead pipes. I'll say it again because you probably are uh, doubting that you heard me right. A Republican is in favor of lead pipes. Why? Well, because Biden is against lead pipes. So since Biden came out against lead pipes and says we need to replace lead pipes, well, the Republican by default has to be against that position since a Democrat took it. That's where we're at in American politics. And I just want to show you the tweet because this to me, it just it's not shocking. Like, I don't want to call it shocking or surprising, but I just feel like the Republicans in favor of lead pipes might think, hmm, how are my constituents going to take it if I come out in favor of them drinking poisoned water? But let me just let me just get to the tweet here. Quote, Biden wants to replace lead pipes. He failed to mention that the unfunded mandate sets an almost impossible timeline, will cost billions, infringe on the rights of the states and their residents, all for benefits that may be entirely speculative. He is unironically saying that the benefits of replacing lead pipes where water comes from is entirely speculative. Now, of course, the community note points out, in addition to the known harm of lead exposure, especially to children, Mr. Kobach is incorrect when he states the mandate is unfunded. In fact, the bipartisan infrastructure law Joe Biden signed into law in November of 2021 provides $15 billion toward lead service line replacement projects. Now, as the New York Times points out, the timeline that Kobach was referring to here will wipe out all lead pipes within 10 years, which is really important. And and the subtitle reads here, the proposal to rip out 9 million pipes across the country could cost as much as $30 billion, but would nearly eliminate the neurotoxin from drinking water. But Biden shouldn't do this because he's violating states' rights and the rights of the constituents in these states. Listen, maybe states shouldn't have the right to just let their residents drink contaminated water. Maybe I'm crazy. Like, maybe I'm losing my mind, but I feel like States' rights should end at poisoning their citizens. States have a responsibility to take care of the people who elect them. And if you think that letting them drink lead water is a state's rights issue, maybe you're just too far gone. Maybe you're just too fucking stupid to be in that position of power. I mean, this is the attorney general of an entire state. And he's concerned trolling about the cost of replacing lead pipes and saying that Biden is violating states' rights by replacing their lead pipes. It's almost so stupid that, like, you can't believe that it's happening, even though you can believe it's happening because, of course, this is where Republicans were headed. But I think that this is one of those opportunities for Biden where he needs to take this, put it in an ad and blast it to all Americans about how out of touch Republicans are. Because if you think that normal Americans are going to find this persuasive, you're just out of touch. Ask anyone, Republican, Democrat, hey, do you think that President Biden should be replacing lead pipes? If they say no, they're crazy. They're just too far gone. They're saying, well, because I don't like Biden, I'm willing to drink lead water and potentially poison myself and my children all so the president doesn't get a dub. That's insane. Like, that's insane. Listen, flip it for a second, okay? Let's say Trump was in power and he said, I'm going to replace all lead pipes. Would you be against that? Of course not. I would commend Trump for doing that. And it's something that I think a president should do. A president should be doing things that help people, given the number of crises we've seen in certain cities like Flint, Michigan, where generations were poisoned. An entire group of people were poisoned, they contracted diseases, Legionnaire's disease, all because lead pipes. And our water infrastructure in this country has been outdated for a while, so replacing these lead pipes and doing a proactive thing is good, actually. But because the president did it, who's a Democrat, we've got to be against it because we're all hacks now. I mean, this is hyperpartisanship to the death, literally. But the New York Times says this about the policy. The Biden administration is proposing new restrictions that would require the removal of virtually all lead water pipes across the country in an effort to prevent another public health catastrophe like the one that came to define Flint, Michigan. The proposal on Thursday from the Environmental Protection Agency would impose the strictest limits on lead and drinking water since federal standards were first set 30 years ago. It would affect about 9 million pipes that snake throughout communities across the country. Quote, this is the strongest lead rule that the nation has ever seen, Radhika Fox, the EPA's assistant administrator for water, said in an interview. This is historic 
progress. To continue, digging up and replacing lead pipes from coast to coast is no small undertaking. The EPA estimates the price at $20 billion to $30 billion over the course of a decade. The rule would require the nation's utilities and most likely their ratepayers to absorb most of that cost, but $15 billion is available from the 2021 infrastructure law to help them pay for it. Now, call me crazy, but I think that spending $30 billion to replace lead pipes that's pretty reasonable, especially considering the fact that that's $30 billion over a 10-year period, right? But let's say, hypothetically speaking, that it was more expensive and it cost $100 billion. Hell, let's say a trillion dollars. Would I still think that it is worthwhile to replace the lead pipes in this country? Of course, because some things are just more important than money. And us having clean drinking water so we can literally live that's more important than money. So I don't care what the cost is. This is a good thing. But they try to find ways to take a win from Biden and make it into a negative. But this is one of those issues where you can't do that. But here's what I think. I'm predicting that more savvy Republicans who are against this aren't going to say what Chris Kobach said, because even they can acknowledge that this is a really fucking stupid thing to be opposed to. But what they're going to do is attack the EPA. They're going to indirectly attack this policy by saying the EPA needs to be defunded. There's too much red tape and yada yada. And when they say things like this and use code words, they're not going to expect you to dig deep and say, hmm, what do they mean by regulations and red tape? And really, what they mean is safety precautions with regard to our environment and clean drinking water. So understand that any Republican who comes out against the EPA wants to defund it, wants to attack it. They're also attacking this rule as well because the EPA is implementing this policy. So if they attack the EPA, that means that they want you to drink dirty drinking water. They want your children to drink lead. That's what this means. So even as idiotic as this argument is, I am incredibly thankful that Chris Kobach made this statement publicly. It's still up. That tweet has not been deleted to my knowledge uh, because it really goes to show you how insane Republicans are. And if you have a family member that still votes Republican, show them that tweet. Ask them, do you agree with this? Because this is how far the party has fallen to where they don't just want to not do anything about climate change, which is making our entire planet uninhabitable, but they now want you to drink lead water because it's too expensive. That's fucking insane. And anyone who agrees with Chris Kobach here, you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and odds are you probably drank some lead water yourself. We got to fix that for you immediately so you can think straight again. Like everywhere there's glue, mama, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. So my children will be like, Mama, glue, 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 glue. I turn on mama. TV, there's glue in the background. Every TV show, news media, why? Glue, 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 They're everywhere. Glue, 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 gl